guys, in this video I'll be showing you how we built a really small and power efficient nav PC running Windows 10 and OpenCPN for navigation. For ease of use we chose a wireless keyboard with a built in touchpad that works like a tablet with pinch and zoom. The monitor or the TV is mounted on a swivel mount that rotates 360 degrees. That makes it dual purpose for either navigation or just watching TV. Here's the screen in portrait mode, it makes it a lot easier following the coastline while navigating. The cable management on the back isn't quite ready but it's getting there. Alright, so this is the PC. It's running Windows 10 with a quad-core Atom CPU from Intel. It's not fast by any means, but as you will see in a minute or so, it's, it really does the job quite excellently. It has about 30 gigabytes of internal storage and it can be extended by inserting a memory card. For connectivity, it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It's about a decimeter or so in length and uh, connects to the TV via HDMI and is powered by a USB. And here's the accessories we got connected to it. Uh, a GPS to the left with better than uh, 5 meters of accuracy. Make sure you get one that's compatible with the Windows version you're running and also works with uh, OpenCPN if that's the navigational software you'll, you'll be using. Uh, top right is a USB to uh, two serial interfaces. Uh, that's what I'm using to connect the PC to the sharp plotter and uh, the AIS receiver via NMEA. And at the bottom is a 4 port USB hub for all the devices uh, since the PC only has one USB input so uh, a USB hub is a must. Here's the back side of the PC and as you can see it's um, quite a nice fit just uh, mounting everything with uh, velcro uh, to the back of the monitor and try to um, put the cables as uh, neatly as possible. That's the USB hub and the GPS up to the left. Here you can see OpenCPN and uh, the settings tab and um, the window with the NMEA sentences uh, coming and going to uh, the short plotter and the AS receiver. And I believe when I tested this out, I had the antenna li laying on the floor, so um, the reception wasn't the best. So I just I was just able to pick up two boats in the marina. Um, the red boat uh, at the top right is where we're located when we're up on the hard. So here's a demo of the performance. Uh, I'm running uh, vectorized charts. Um, and zooming and uh, scrolling, it, it isn't without lag. It's uh, a little bit slow, but it's not bad at all compared to running it on a um, medium or medium desktop PC. Um, it's not lightning fast, but it absolutely does the job. And it's a lot faster than running it on, a, let's say, a Raspberry Pi or something uh, ARM based. So, here's what it averages up to. If you have already a TV in your boat, you can probably deduct the price of that from the equation as well as the mount for the for the TV. You can probably find a cheaper USB hub and also a GPS puck if you'd like. I decided to spend a few bucks extra for a GPS with a bit higher accuracy. Um, 
I'll post the link in the description down below for OpenCPN if you haven't heard of it before. It's an amazing open source navigation software. You should really check it out. So, that's all for now. If you found this useful, drop me a comment and also don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care guys.